Yes, 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 we are back. It is 2022. It's a new me and a new you. <laughs> All right, let's get into some color mixing. We have these three colors. These are our primary colors, the most important colors of all. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Let's get into it. But before we do, we're going to prep our paper. Let's prep our paper. We're going to get this little cup and we're going to use it as a guide, kind of a stencil of sorts to help us draw circles, seven circles that we're going to paint inside of. Now that that's done, <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever heard of Roy G. Biv? Hmm? And no, that's not a person. <laughs> that's an acronym. Each letter of Roy G. Biv stands for a color. So of course, R stands for red, O stands for orange, Y stands for yellow. Then there's green, blue, indigo, and violet. Seven circles, seven colors. And yes, you have to label them all. Now let's put the most important thing you could ever put on your paper, <gasps> your name. All right, let's move it right along. It's time for the painting. Let's bring it out. Oh, oh, but let's not assume that your brush is clean. Let's not assume the person that used the brush before you was a kind citizen and cleaned it. Make sure yours is clean before we get started. All right, let's get started with the red. And you know that's super simple. We already have red, no mixing involved. As you can see, the tops twists. They twist open and they twist close. Please make sure you close the tops when you get finished with the color. Um, squeeze a little bit out and use the brushes to brush that red in the entire circle. Fill that circle in, why don't ya? Next up, orange. Now, we don't have it, we have to mix it. So which two do you think is gonna make orange? <gasps> You got it, the red and the yellow. The first one we get to mix. All right, so let's put a little bit of the yellow in our tray. Now look, it, we still have some red that's in our brush cause we never cleaned it. So let's try it, let's try it. Mix the red that's in your brush with the yellow and before your very eyes, <laughs> you have Perfect color orange too. Got it on the first try. <gasps> How wonderful is that? I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna now paint in the circle labeled orange. All right, let's two down. Let's go ahead and clean our brush and we're gonna move on to yellow, which of course we already have. <laughs> so squirt a little bit of yellow out and paint the circle that's labeled yellow. All right, we get to mix again, we get to mix again, cause the next color is green and we do not have a bottle with green in it. So what two colors can you mix together to make green? Huh, huh, huh? <laughs> you got it, it's blue and yellow. Blue and yellow, yes, okay, so. The important thing to know here is exactly how much blue you're gonna need to mix with the yellow. And it's not very much. In fact, that's about it. That's all I know. You're like, wait a minute, Mr. P, that's just like a little bitty dot. What in the world are you doing? How is that gonna make green? Well, just watch. Just a little bit of that. I didn't even use all of it. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And then you start mixing it in. All right before your eyes you have yourself a green now this is more of a yellow green if you was to look on the color wheel right it'd be more of a yellow green so we might want to add just a wee bit more in fact what i like to do i like to do i like to sneak up on the color right because here's the deal here's the rule here's the rule it is so much easier to darken a color than it is to lighten it up. Like, let me put it this way, let me put it this way. If I tried to go yellow into blue, I'd use a whole lot more paint than me going from the blue into the yellow. You would waste a ton of paint. 
But look, 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 you see what I'm doing? It's getting darker and darker the more blue I put in there. You see how that works? I've only used two small dots of blue and it has gotten significantly darker. It's not a yellow green anymore. And see, here's what I do, here's what I do. Let's do a side by side. The one on the left, that's the green I started with. The one on the right, that's the green it is now. You see that? With two small little dots, I went from a light yellow green to a, I guess, I would, I would call that green. I would call that just regular old green. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and now, when you're satisfied, I should say, when you're satisfied with the shade of green that you have, go ahead and paint your circle labeled green. The next one is blue. Of course, we have blue, so go ahead and paint blue, and now you're finished with blue. <laughs> Moving right along. All right, indigo and violet, last two, and they can be a little tricky. Um, so let's jump right into it. If you've been paying attention, then you know blue and red are the only two that we haven't mixed. And uh, you also notice that we have an untouched blue and an untouched red in our palette. <laughs> and if you didn't clean your brush, you probably still have a little bit of blue already in your brush. Now, we don't want it to be too much blue. We don't want it too much blue, but let's try it, let's try it. We might have to sneak up on the color again. And, and this time, I, I would say let's try for the violet first. Um, because it's gonna be the lighter of the two colors, violet, and then we'll move to indigo. That's about it, that's about it, that's our purple. Oh, wait, 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 not there, Mr. P, that's for indigo. <gasps> you made a big bumbling mess. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and paint in the color that where it's supposed to go, and hopefully we can Bob Ross it a little later, right? We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Huh? Last color is indigo. So I know I only have a little bit of blue left, so I'm gonna get a little bit of my uh, violet there, violet or purple, they're the same, same color, and um, mix it with the little bit of blue that I have left. And what you're going for here, the shade of color you're going for here is kind of a dark blue type colors. And I position the frame so you can kind of see, you can kind of compare the blue to the indigo, and then over there in the corner where my hand is, you can kind of see the violet, right? So if you can get a shade kind of like that, then you'll have it. This is what we're doing today. We'd like you now to go and have fun. 